Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Season 4 of F1 Florida Racing. So we're back and where we left off was uh, right here actually. So getting our driver negotiation. So what I wanted to do was go to the driver market. And what I want to do is uh, offer this guy right here the job. So let's, uh, I think we have to hit renegotiate with teammate unfortunately. Not sure why. Yeah, we're gonna just can let's see, can we cancel negotiating? Looks like it. Can we go straight to uh not seeing how we oh contracts, here we go. I think that's what we want. So negotiate, so driver perks I'm not seeing the button to be able to go talk to uh the guy I want to talk to here, so there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I had to hit. Okay, but you see there, so we have the overall side-by-side -side there. So you see, oh, so this is, okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. So once Nick DeFries leaves us, he loses all the stats. So looking at the stats side-by-side, -side, so there's the overall thing. So his experience is the same as Nick DeFries there. His racecraft is minus 9, his awareness is minus 20. So this is stuff that I totally missed last time. So this is pretty good. And then pace, I mean, he's basically identical to pace on him, just minus one. So, but being able to get that long relationship going uh, for a while here, I think that's kind of what we're wanting to do. Let's also bring the Mick Schumacher fans over. So that's what I'm kind of looking at. So uh, I'm not sure where we went. There we go. So let's go ahead and approach Mick Schumacher here. All right, so he has accepted our offer, and we're going to go ahead and offer him just a little bit more. Hopefully get him to come on board. And there we go. He is our driver signed for next season. So there we go. Brand new driver. Go ahead and get the uh, training done as well there. So there we go, Mick Schumacher is our new driver, and there, you look at that, so I mean, he already gained a ton of stats there, and we're going to be working on a lot of other stuff as well. So let's go ahead and go to our faculties here and get to work on some of this stuff. Uh, personnel, training, go ahead and get the, let's see, this is for second driver pace, and this is the race craft. Let's go ahead and uh, get the fitness center done, we'll look at that possibly later. So further increases positive effects and remove negative impacts from team activities. What we're wanting to do is get our resource generation up come this uh, particular season. Quality control would also be really, really good. So we're going to get some sponsorship stuff, but if we can get some of this already working here before then, that would be good. So let's see here. What do we have in here? We had... That's 12,000 right there, 9,000 quality control. This is all the durability stuff, which we're going to need to work on. We're also going to need to work on engine stuff. So let's go ahead and get these two sections upgraded there. That's going to get us two things in engine. That's going to be super helpful. And we got 4 million left in the bank. So let's go ahead and uh, move along here. We got our awareness training done there for our new driver. Yeah, I really don't care about that. Let's go to our press interview here for our fourth season of F1 and see what uh, see what the guy has to say here. Alright, so I got the media tour done with for the end of the season here, so that's certainly nice. So we'll get back in the office, see what kind of uh, resource points we got here. I think we got a few more going before the end of the season, so we should be able to get hopefully at least one more of our uh, things saved from uh, one of our development saves. Let's see, yeah. So, advanced time here. So, there we go. So, powertrain upgrades, all that. We could better manage our time by organizing some team activities. Head to the activity screen to see what we have available. All right, so we can save uh, heat dispensing wheel rims. That's not a, it's pretty high on the list, honestly. Let's see, anything here. So we ring up a flap. Let's 
Go ahead and get territory wing flaps. We'll go ahead and get that done. So that's one more piece. So we've got quite a few in area that we've got to work on come next season and also in durability. But we saved a lot in chassis and we got quite a, f a lot a lot we got to go on in chassis. So that that's good. So let's go ahead and finish out the season and head into the next one here. I just saw a major boost in our finances. I think it was like $34 million something. Good night. Bring me the money. I'm not sure why I went up so high. So there we go. We have raised our acclaim as a team. Done pretty good there. Uh, next is the Moolah. Ooh, got quite a bit of Moolah there. Very, very nice. And there we go. Tenth in the championship. Make sure Marco wasn't even racing, so he's 29th, but that's fine. So F1 said uh, one thing that's going to happen is we're going to add more races to the season, so that should be interesting. There we go. Team details. So we got ourselves the performance with Honda. We got Mick Schumacher there. Durability is definitely uh, rather low. We got our sponsor there, still signed with us. So let's see, earned 300 constructor points, 100 finished first in constructors, finished third or better in constructors, finished sixth or better. Uh, once again, oh wow, they, they've, Stingshot Fuels has kind of fallen back here in the signing bonus. Uh, gold bonus is still really good and weekly income is excellent there. Uh, once again, we're staying with Slingshot. They've been great partners with us. No need to change that. Uh, Honda, let's see what we got. So here we go. Currently, Renault is a lot higher there with a 97-87 durability. We also have Ferrari, though, that's trying to get some more manufacturers over with a 97 performance and 80 durability. And we got Mercedes right there with 97-82. So uh, we got a fairly cheap contract cost there at 3500 uh, we could boost it up to Renault I guess and get some performance and durability uh, honestly I think we're just gonna stay with Honda they've been doing a great job for us and uh, I think that's gonna work well for us into the season uh, livery we're gonna get that done for the uh, grand reveal we'll let you see that alrighty so we are in the season here so let's take a look at uh, what we got going on in corporate uh, currently we got all the driver perks available for us uh, we're going to be getting Schumacher hopefully some of those in the next few days so we got a uh, 111 contract with him day contracts so that's going to expire on June so we're going to have to re-sign him halfway through the season so that'll work out good uh, let's see anybody switch around here looks like about everybody's the same Ooh, I think uh, Red Bull switched around. They kicked out uh, Mashusita. And we got Max Verstappen and uh, Carlo Sainz now. So that's interesting. Charles Leclerc for Ferrari. We got Lando Norris and uh, Daniel Ricciardo there. So that's about the same. Let's see. We got Sergio Perez for BWT. Alfred Tari, Pierre Gasly. Uh, we have Esteban Ocon switched over to uh, Renault. Uh, we got, uh, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so Daniel Ricciardo, I think, switched then from Renault to uh, McLaren. That's interesting. We got Alexander Orban. And, oh, yeah, so both, so all of the guys from Alpha Centauri, or Alpha Tari, have uh, switched to Renault there, Alistair Ocon and uh, Daniel Fiat. That's interesting. Well, actually, no, I think Piers Gazzi was still there. Lance Stroll's moved over to BWT. Kevin Magnussen stays at uh, Haas. Uh, George Russell's still at Williams. Uh, Antonio Giovinazzi has stayed. Nicholas Latifi has switched over to Williams. Uh, Nick DeFries has gone over to... Uh, Alfa Romero. Juan Manuel Carrera is still driving for Haas. And Manuchita has moved over to Alf Alfantari. So he's he had a, a bit of a uh, <coughs> removal, a depromotion, so to speak. So not a whole lot. So who's out then? Who's out, out this season? I don't see anybody. 
Did somebody retire? Seems like somebody's out. Let's see here. What do we got? Where's my messages? Okay, let's see. Drive retirement. Oh, Roman Grosjean. Ah, he retired. Okay, I knew somebody was missing. All right, so Roman Grosjean, he retired from, I believe, uh, Alfa Romero. So that's interesting. Okay, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and get the um, driver camp underway here for uh, our new driver. Get him as much help as he can have. Uh, actually, no. Hold on. So let's go ahead and remove that real quick. Let's do aero and chassis focus there. Get those guys as much as they can get. We don't need to do that. Pre do, 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 do. Definitely do the training camp. So there we go. We got that done. Let's look at our faculties here as we got money to burn. So let's burn some of it here. So aerodynamics. Let's get that. Uh, let's see. Point generation. Is there anyone that's cheaper? There we go. Get that one done first. Right, 15,000 is going to be pretty, actually that's 15 million, sorry. Pretty expensive uh, upgrades for these departments here. We got fabrication, ooh, this, ooh, nice. Look at the new Florida Racing chassis department. Ooh, that looks good. I like it. Okay, guys, get, the guys were actually pretty busy there. It looks good. I like it. Okay, uh, durability department, that could use some upgrades. That's going to get it. Build time. See, this is super cheap stuff here, and we are going to need to work on it. We're going to skip that for right now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get that point generation done here, because I know we're going to need that. Seems like, let's see, further increase positive effects, remove negative effects from team activities. That's the other one. And then we need 15 million for the driver pay stat. So we need to get that done here soon. That's a really nice uh, room there as well. Let's go ahead and get these. Let's see, further increase. No, 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 no. At Chelsea Department, I love it. It looks great. Not sure where I want to spend my money here. That's the thing. I think we're going to end up just saving it for the moment. Fabrication, that's good. Yeah, we're going to save it so we can get another points, uh, resource point generation done. Uh, we don't have currently any resource points coming in, so let's go ahead and advance some time here. There we go, that looks good, that looks good. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go to this, guys, but this is not necessarily the finalized scheme. I think, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it, though, uh, the scheme that we've been running, because, I mean, I really like it. It's nice, clean looking. Uh, might switch around, like, some colors of the sponsors and some sponsor location, but other than that, we're not going to do much. Ooh, we have some resource points now. <laughs> let's get to work, then, with our resource points here. So let's go ahead and get these things taken care of here. That's really expensive. Anything cheaper? Doesn't look like we have anything cheaper at the moment. Nope, that all oh, that's pretty expensive at the moment. Okay, let's see over here. What have we got? Durability we can work on though. That's pretty cheap to get started. Good night, this stuff. Why is it so expensive on the resource points? Oh, here right now we're gonna get to work on these. Uh, all of this stuff here for the moment just because we need to need to get get the work done alrighty so we got that going anything over here anything else that we could get done let's see crankshaft yeah everything else is super expensive resource point wise so we'll leave that as it is so go to the car reveal here real quick as I said I'm not totally sure if I'm gonna keep this scheme I'm pretty sure that I am though but uh, just not totally sure I do like it though Yeah, we got to do some finalization on the paint scheme there, but uh, we'll let you see it, obviously, when we're on the track, which, of course, will be in the next episode. This is just getting the season all nice and set up here, which, by the way, I don't think I showed you 
what races we're going to. We'll show you that here in a bit. Obviously, Australia is up there first. So we'll let you see that here in just a second. As everything loads and loads and loads. All right, yeah. Go ahead and advance through this for just a second. Running costs, good. Got some more resource points, good. So there we go, Australia. Obviously, the first race. We'll see how we do there. And let's see, we got 13 million buckies in the bank. Not, not the beaver bucky, but uh, other buckies. Let's see, and we could upgrade our aerodynamic departments. But I'm kind of wanting to do the resource points first to get that done. Do we, can we do that here? Nope. Okay. So we'll leave that for the moment. We have some more resource points to spend. Let's see if we can go ahead and... Can we rush it? I'm going to try rushing it see how that does. We got a thousand resource points to spend here. Is there anything cheap enough to spend it on? That's the question. Doesn't appear so at the moment. Alright, that one's currently locked there. Where'd I go? There we go. Sure, we'll go ahead and get uh, crankshaft upgrade. Just get stuff, get stuff moving here. Let's see. Oh, you can see there. Everybody took a pretty big hit performance-wise. Red Bull is currently leading. Mercedes. This is interesting. And you see everybody else had a major decline, as we're all the way down there below. Um, yeah. So here we go. Points, points. So you see where we started. Kind of fell behind some of the guys there. Uh, ended up being the lowest team in season two. Season three, uh, we got up there pretty high, messing around with everybody else. And then right here, we had, we're taking a major dive performance-wise, so we've got to get that worked on for sure. And then currently got all that taken care of. Contracts are good. Finances, definitely a lot of spending, that's for sure. And uh, standings right there. Where is... There we go. So here we go. So here's your schedule. Going to Australia to begin it off, then we're going to Bahrain, Vietnam next, then of course going to the Netherlands, and then we're going to the Spanish Grand Prix, then we got Monaco, and uh, I think it's Baku in Ajuban, I believe is how you pronounce that, then we got the Canadian Grand Prix, the French Grand Prix, the Austrian Grand Prix, the Great Britain Grand Prix, the Hungary, that's going to be interesting, Belgium, Italy, and Japan, Japan, I've actually raced on that one, and I've had some pretty good results overall, from what I remember. Just uh, making sure the car doesn't spin out is going to be the big thing at that track. But yeah, so new races added to the season from F1. And as you can see, we're still boycotting China. Hallelujah. And we got the United States Grand Prix there as well. So we got all that going on in the season. So there we are starting off currently my driver's in 10th. We got Florida Racing sitting in 6th and we got uh, Mick Schumacher there down there in 22nd. So brand new drivers for our team. A brand new driver for our team and we got some money in the bank so hopefully we can get ourselves ready to go here for the season. We'll see how Australia goes. That's not going to be super good. So anyways guys thanks for coming along for the setup of the season we got a lot of work done just in this little bit and uh, we got a lot more work to do this in this fourth season of florida racing's adventures in f1 so we'll see how we do in that hopefully get some more podiums and see how our second driver does throughout the season but anyways guys that's going to be the end of it today thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the merch shop because who knows i might actually have florida racing merch in there at this point but if you're looking for florida racing merch it's probably going to be over there. So check the links down in the description below. So thanks guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys here next time with Florida Racing in F1. Bye-bye.